In truth, it was I who was betrayed. These tracks are fresh, but they split off in opposite directions. Illidan must be getting help from someone. Your orders, mistress. You watchers split up into two parties. Scour the woods. Find what you can. We'll meet you further up the coast. Remember, sisters, if you find Illidan, do not attempt to take him without the rest of us. He is far too dangerous to tackle alone. Yes, mistress. The rest of you, follow me. Mistress, the Furbogs have succumbed to the forest corruption. It's as if they've lost themselves to mindless rage. Their tribes suffered greatly during the Legion's invasion. They cannot be saved. My party was attacked by a bloodthirsty wild king. Apparently, Illidan's passing drove the creature mad. There's no telling how many more innocents it might harm. This madness must end. We will find the creature and put it down. There, mistress. Those must be the creatures we're after. Wretched my heroes, you are no match for the Naga. Naga? Many craven races have tempted our wrath over the centuries. None have survived. Wretched woman, we will retake the surface world and put an end to your vile race once and for all. Quickly, you fools! 
ships. The ships must be burned. The master doesn't wish to be followed. I cannot allow Illidan to escape again. We must slay those Naga before they burn the ships. You are too late, little warning. The master has already set sail for distant shores. However, he wished to thank you for the hospitality you provided during his imprisonment. He asked us to repay you in time. You're certainly welcome to try, monster. Mistress, do you believe we can defeat Illidan even if we find him? Illidan has grown powerful, of that there is no doubt. He consumed the energies of the Skull of Gul'dan. Now he is neither Night Elf nor Demon, but something more. Mistress, why would the Naga harbor so much hatred for us? We must trust time to reveal all things. Now hurry, Illidan has a considerable lead on us. We must capture him before he causes any more harm. Mistress, we followed Illidan's course due east, as you asked. But these strange islands do not appear on any of our maps. I suspected as much. These islands must have been formed only recently. What makes you say that? The ruins all around us, Nysha. I recognize them. This was once the great city of Suramar, built before our civilization was blasted beneath the sea 10,000 years ago. But how could... Are you suggesting that these islands were somehow raised from the seafloor? Perhaps. Though there are few powers left in the world capable of raising islands from the deeps. Regardless, it's a mystery we'll have to solve later. We'd best head inland and set up a base camp. Once we're situated, we'll pick up Illidan's trail. Here, sisters. Let's establish a base so we can continue our hunt for Illidan. An orc? I smell the stench of demons about him. Rest easy, stranger. This old wanderer has no quarrel with you or your kin. I am Drakthul, once a powerful warlock of the Storm Reaver clan. Now, I am the last of my kind. What are you doing here? Your pardon, lady, but I am hunted by restless ghosts. They've chased me day and night for nearly twenty years. Perhaps if you silence them for me, I will tell you my tale. I'll consider it. The dead will trouble you no more, old orc. Thank you, stranger. Now, hear my tale. Nearly twenty years ago, the great warlock Gul'dan raised these islands from the deeps. He sought to unearth an ancient vault that held the remains of the Dark Titan. Sargeras, you speak of the Legion's creator. The same. After Sargeras' defeat ages ago, his remains were locked away in an undersea tomb. Gul'dan believed that opening the tomb would grant him the Dark Titan's power. For his pride, he and the rest of our clan were torn to shreds by crazed demons. I have wandered these isles ever since, haunted by the ghosts of my slaughtered comrades. Your tale is as intriguing as it is dire, Drakthul. It's a shame your ghosts lie silent. You deserve far worse than their company for what you set loose in this place. At last, the tomb of Sargeras is found. You, my trusted servants, must remain here and guard the entrance. If that wretched Warden managed to reach this island, 
She'll certainly try to follow us. Illidan. I knew we'd find him. We'll have to fight our way through the Naga's defenses in order to follow him. We locked Illidan beneath the earth long ago. I intend to do so again. Now quickly, my sisters. Illidan must be stopped at all costs. I have a bad feeling about this mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Still, we must press on, Nysha. If Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Wait, look there. Strange. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Gul'dan, when he first opened this tomb 20 years ago. What do they say? Apparently, he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway! We must reach the Chamber of the Eye before the tomb's guardians awaken! Spineless cowards, I said move. Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees. There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. There. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the Warlock's tale. Blasted, feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. My power alone should be enough to... That laughter... Is that you, Sargeras? You seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. You've come far enough, little warden. Your vaunted night elf justice has no jurisdiction here. What would you know of us or our justice, Naga Witch? Why, my dear, we Naga were once night elves. We were Ashara's chosen, the Highborn. Banished beneath the cruel seas, when the Well of Eternity imploded around us. Impossible. Cursed. Transformed. We have waited ten thousand years to retake our rightful place in the world. And now, with Lord Illidan's help, we shall. Not while I draw breath. Your courage is commendable. But it shall avail you nothing. Look, mistress. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Yes, Gul'dan's script seems to grow more desperate. It reads that he was... Ambushed... by the Guardians. I... am... dying. If my servants had not abandoned me, I could have claimed the Eye and... Damn you, Sargeras. I won't be beaten like this. I am Gul'dan. I am Darkness Incarnate. It cannot end like this. This 
This is as far as he got. The runes simply trail off. I cannot imagine what horrors Gul'dan faced in his final moments. <laughs> so, Warden Shadowsong, you've made it at last. I knew you would. You have much to pay for, Illidan. I'm taking you back to your cell. Naivete does not suit you. When I consumed the power of Gul'dan's skull, I inherited his memories, especially those of this place and the dark prize he coveted. Yes, the power of Sargeras. You would claim it as your own. That power is beyond my reach, little warden. But this... The Eye of Sargeras contains all the power I'll need to rid this wretched world of my enemies once and for all. Ironic that you should be its first victim. You're insane. Isolation can do that to the mind. Now, after all the long centuries you kept me chained in darkness, it is only fitting that I bury you in turn. Damn! I must reach Shadow Stormrage and warn him of his brother's treachery. My power will allow me to escape. But I feel there is no way out for the rest of you. Go, mistress. The goddess will light our path to the hereafter. I will not forget you, my sisters. You will be avenged. I swear it. Now I've got to find a way out before this cursed tomb is drowned by the seas. What happened, mistress? Where are Nysha and the others? They are lost. Illidan claimed the Eye of Sargeras and used its power to bury our sisters alive. Now he intends to finish the rest of us off. We have no choice but to sail back to Kalimdor and warn Shondo Stormrage of what his brother intends. It's too late, mistress. Illidan's forces have arrived. We cannot escape. But perhaps we can send for reinforcements. Summon the runner. She must reach the shoreline and sail back to Kalimdor. With any luck, Shondo Stormrage will reach us before we're overrun. Be swift, sister. The runner is in trouble. Protect her! Illum grant that she reaches Shondo Stormrage in time. If not, Illidan may never be stopped. Mudrassel's roots seem to be healing well. I wish I could say the same for Felwood. I fear the Legion's corruption will scar the Glade permanently. Your druids will think of something. Perhaps Isera or Alexstrasza could lend their... Your pardon? Shandor Stormridge, Priestess Tyrande, but she insisted that she be allowed to see you. Who are you, girl? What is so urgent? I am a servant of the Warden, Maiev Shadowsong, she who pledged to hunt down the betrayer Illidan. Illidan? Explain yourself. Your pardon, Shondo, but your brother has raised a dark army from the sea and stolen a powerful demonic artifact. Even now, my mistress battles him on the Broken Isles. She requires immediate reinforcements. I will go. I will lead the Sentinels there myself. No, my love. The Druids and I can handle... I am the one who set him free. The responsibility is mine. Then we shall both go. If this girl's tale is true, 
Maev will need all the help she can get. Hold your ground, my warriors. Goddess willing, Shondo Storm Rage will come. We've landed safely, but a few of our ships may have run aground on the outlying islands. I hate to leave any of our forces behind, but we simply have no time to wait. My owls have already scouted ahead of us and found Maev's location. She and her forces are under attack, but we'll need to pass through the jungle to reach her. Perhaps force of nature will speed our way. We'd best make haste. I doubt Maev's forces can hold out much longer. Just as I suspected, our ships did run aground here. The special allies I brought from Ashenvale should be somewhere in the vicinity. Special allies? Just keep searching. You'll know them when you see them. Illune be praised! I knew you would come, Shondo Stormrage! I'm glad we reached you in time, Maev. Priestess Taronda. I'm surprised you came in person. Are you here to absolve your guilty conscience? I did what I had to do, Maya. You are in no position to judge me. What you did was murder my watchers and set the betrayer free. It is you who should be locked in a cage. Stop this, both of you. We're not out of danger yet. Maev, what's the situation here? There are no resources left in this area, Shondo. We'll need to find a gold mine if we're to marshal more troops for an assault on Illidan's compound. Very well. Let's get moving then. Victory is ours. It has been an honor to fight at your side, Shondo. This battle is far from over, Maev. Illidan has yet to be accounted for. And I've seen no sign of Tyrande either. Show yourself, Illidan. It's over. Not yet, my little priestess. A pity you couldn't see things my way. Now you and the whole world will understand just what I'm capable of. Ask her off. Brother, what are you doing here? I've come to stop you, Illidan. Instead of banishing you, I should have returned you to your cage when I had the chance. I was weak then, but no longer. I have sworn allegiance to a new master, brother. I have a great task to perform in his service. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to stand in my way. Don't worry, my love. We'll find Illidan wherever he runs. We'll find him. Our forces will be ready to move out soon. Although we still know next to nothing about this strange land Illidan has run to. This land is called Lordaeron, Maev. It is the homeland of the Alliance that aided us at the Battle of Mount Hyjal. I was told that its kingdoms, both human and elven, were consumed by the undead scourge. These forests have suffered grievously. I must leave you both for a time. I will enter the woods and attempt to commune with the land itself. While you're gone, we'll set out and try to pick up Illidan's trail. I expect you both to stay focused on your task. You can settle your personal dispute after we've found my brother. Of course, Shondo. We'd best get moving. This was an Alliance encampment. The attack must have come recently. Strangers, my lord. They don't appear to be undead, but... Ishnu Allah, Night Elves. I am Prince Kael'thas. I must admit, I'm surprised to see your kind here. 
But whatever your business, I fear you will find only death and shadow in this cursed land. Ishnu Daldiab, Kael'thas. I am Maiev Shadow Song, and this is Tyrande Whisperwind. We are hunting a powerful demon that arrived here recently. Curious. I don't know about any demon, but something's riled the undead based at Dalaran. They've been hounding us day and night. We were about to abandon this post and seek refuge on the other side of the river Aravas. Hmm. Then we shall lend you our aid, young Kale. Wait, we have no time for this. Perhaps once your people are safe, you will help us hunt the demon we seek. It would be an honor, milady. We stand at a crossroads, my friends. There is a shorter path to our destination, but it will take us perilously close to an undead bastion. The other route is safer, but it will take us longer to cross the river. Both routes will be dangerous nonetheless. Let us choose quickly and be on our way. Ah, Pyrewood Village. The river Aravas lies just beyond. Something doesn't feel right. Yes. Perhaps we should keep the caravan moving. We've driven them back, but the second wave is advancing. We've run out of time. The caravan will not survive another assault. Hale, get your caravan moving across the river. I will stay behind and hold the bridge. That's very noble of you, Priestess, but you're no match for a force that vast. The goddess is my shield, Warden. Elune will grant me the strength. to save her. That current will take her straight into the heart of the undead lands. No, Kale. Tyrande is a soldier. She knew the risks she took. We have a greater mission to accomplish now, and our time grows short. Your people are now safe. You will uphold your end of the bargain and help me hunt the demon I seek. This forest has suffered as much as Ashenvale. The vile blight of the Scourge has deadened countless acres of trees. If only the druids could... Ah! Oh, the earth is being torn apart. The pain is excruciating. Ancient spirits of the forest, I implore you, show me what is hidden from my sight. Show me what troubles this earth. I see the frozen land of Northwind, the very roof of the world. The land itself is being split asunder. this be? What could cause such devastation? It's working. Nothing can withstand the power of the eye. Soon now, my master's enemies will be undone, and I will claim my just reward. Thank you, great spirits. I know what must be done. I promise you, this treachery will not go unpunished.
Maev, we've got to move quickly. Illidan is weaving a spell that is splitting apart the roof of the world. We must... Wait. Where is Taranda? I am sorry, Shondo, but the priestess has fallen. We aided a band of Alliance warriors against the undead. The priestess fought valiantly, but I saw her torn apart with my own eyes. Torn apart? Taranda, my heart. I should have been there. You can still avenge her, Shondo. Let us attack Illidan together. He is the reason we even came to this forsaken place. He is the reason for your loss. Shondo, this is Prince Kael'thas, the ally I spoke of. Greetings, great druid. My scouts have confirmed that this Illidan and his vile snakes are based at the ruined city of Dalaran. They are using a gem-like artifact to perform some strange ritual. They must be using the Eye of Sargeras. But why would they strike at the roof of the world? It doesn't matter. They won't live long enough to finish their spell. Illidan must be stopped once and for all. No! Oh, the spell is not done! It is not done! It is over, brother. Your vile schemes end here. Illidan Storm Rage for recklessly endangering countless lives and threatening the very balance of the world. I hereby sentence you to death. Too much blood has been spilled on your account, Illidan. Even now, I can feel the lands of Northrend reeling from the spell you cast. Imprisonment will not be enough this time. I will execute him myself. Fools! Can you not see? The spell we channeled was meant to strike at the undead! Our common enemy. My mission was to destroy the Lich King's stronghold of Ice Crown. And no heed to the cost! Because of you, Taranda is dead! What? Your pardon, Lord Stormrage, but the priestess may still be alive. She was swept downriver, but it's premature to simply assume that- Silence, Kale. You told me she was torn apart. You lied to me. The betrayer's capture was our primary concern, Shondo. I needed your help. I knew you would go to her, and we would lose our chance. I- Just who is the betrayer now, woman? I must go to her immediately. Believe me, brother. Despite all our differences, you know that I would never lead Tyrande to harm. Let me help you. My Naga can scour the river for us. Let me do this, at least. Very well. What? After all he's done? You would trust this traitor to- Silence! I will deal with you later. Let's go, brother. Prince Kael'thas said he last saw Taronda being swept down this river. If she is alive, my Naga will find her. They had best return with good news, brother. The very sight of them makes my stomach turn. Where did you ever find such loathsome creatures? Believe me, brother. You do not want to know. Lord Illidan, we have found your missing priestess. She and her warriors fight on against the undead, but I doubt they can hold out much longer. Come forth, you mindless wretches, and taste the wrath of the Sentinels. Aloon's light shall never falter. You best hurry if you are to save her. An undead strike force? But they're completely ignoring us. What could. Tyrande. Their flying horrors fill the sky. It would be folly to send your flyers against them. We cannot depend on them now. Illidan, you must hold the undead here and prevent them from assaulting Taranda's encampment. I will journey downriver and... No, brother. The Naga and I can reach her faster. I will go. What you say is true, but I risk much by trusting you, Illidan. 
I swear on my life that I will bring her back, my brother. I believe you. And Thoris Sathil, brother. Lord Illidan, we've discovered a dam blocking one of the river's tributaries. The dam is guarded by forest trolls, but the stream beyond it might provide us a faster route to your friend. We shall see. Illidan, what trickery is this? Have you come to finish me off personally? No, Tyrande. You must believe me. I've come to save you. Save me? Where could they be? They should have brought her back by now. Hurry! This is our last chance. You risked your life for me. I don't understand. Whatever I may be, whatever I may become in this world, know that I will always look out for you, Tyrande. Tyrande! I knew you would not forsake me. I thought I'd lost you forever, my love. If not for Illidan's aid, I may well have. We have had much strife between us, my brother. I have known only ages of hate for you. But for my part, I wish it to end. From this day forward, let there be peace between us. You have brought much suffering to the world, Illidan. For that, you can never be forgiven. However, you saved the life of my love. For that, I will let you go. But should you ever threaten my people again? I understand, brother. Lordship over this world was never my aim. Only power. Only the magic. I've lingered here too long. I must go. By aiding you, I've betrayed my new master. If I am not careful, his wrath will be my end. Farewell, brother. Tyrande. I doubt our paths will cross again. In true Falana. Fools! Have you no sense of justice? Maev, Illidan has atoned for his crimes. He is no longer a threat to... It's no use, Tyrande. She has become vengeance itself. Bound forever to the hunt. I only pray that in her zeal she doesn't cause even more havoc than Illidan. Now, let's go home, beloved. We've earned our rest.